everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 585 of trying a new makeup product every day. So today I'm going to be trying out this Santee Matte Liquid Eyeliner. So I feel like if you were just looking at this packaging, you would not expect that this is a $1 product. So I got this from Shop Miss A, so as always, it was only $1 and it's cruelty free. And I'm also really excited to be filming right now because this is kind of sad, but since I've been living alone, I realized that I go a really long time without saying anything, without talking. Like I go hours without talking or saying anything to anybody, which I guess I just didn't even think about that being something that I would have to adjust to. <laughs> like when I lived at my parents' house, of course there were five of us in the house, so there was always someone around, but there were also two cats and I would just find myself, you know, talking to the cats, but it's just me in my house now. And it's just so, I wouldn't say it's quiet because I'm constantly listening to podcasts. And I think that's also why I feel like I'm having conversations. I'm just not talking because there's always people talking in my house because of the podcast, which I'm obsessed with podcasts. So I would love to know in the comments down below what your favorite podcasts are. But so let's get into the product. But all in all, I'm just saying that I'm happy to be uh, talking right now. <laughs> but yeah, kind of sad. So let's check this out. This seems like an intriguing product because it's a roller liner, which I have never tried before and I am intimidated by. The reviews on the Shop Miss A website say that this is actually pretty easy to use, so I hope that's the case. Here you can see it's a very tiny little roller. And so basically it's like the shape of a pizza cutter. And let's try it out. Yeah, and it, it actually, okay, that's a very thin, precise line. So that's really cool. But it didn't actually really roll much. But I mean, seems to be working well. Pretty good pigment. All right. And the one thing about the Shop Miss A website that I wish they would improve on is the item description. Like Sephora has such great description of the products. It tells you how to use it. A big paragraph on what the product is, but Shop Miss A, this probably had like four words describing what it is. It didn't even say roller liner or anything like that. So when I try out Shop Miss A products, I'm sometimes going into them pretty blind. So that's kind of how I'm feeling right now, but you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Gosh, I'm having a bit of a definitely user error because my eye keeps twitching because I'm nervous about it kind of like hurting my eye because it really is, it's kind of uncomfortable to apply and it dried out pretty quickly. But it's like, I don't want to be dragging a miniature pizza cutter across my eye, but I'm trying my best. Ooh. Yeah, this, that didn't work out too well. That's really messy. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Sometimes I feel like I have better luck applying liquid eyeliner when I'm not holding up a mirror with my other hand. So right here I have in front of me a makeup mirror. So I'm going to try applying my eyeliner in that mirror and see if I can have better control. Okay, yeah, this eye worked out a lot better because what I did is I held my eye as I applied it and then that helped me get more precise. But I will say, it doesn't look that great still. It's not super 
full pigment. I couldn't get all the way down to my lash line, even though I tried hard, so I can see a space of like my eyelid color in between the liner and the lashes. But I like how precise it makes the lines. You know what, I just had an idea. This would probably work for a brow product. So if I had a brow gel with the roller tip, I feel like I could do such a good job of doing the little brow strokes. Wow, I'm gonna try and find a product like that. If you know of a roller liner type of brow product, let me know about it in the comments down below because I think that's where I'm gonna have the most luck with an applicator like this. I'm really glad I tried this, but it's definitely not giving me the results that I wanted. I just definitely feel like I prefer a brush tip applicator. So now I've tried out a few different applications for eyeliner. I've tried out the pencils, the felt tip, the brush tip, and now a roller. And the brush tips are still my favorite. I don't even think I should try this right now, but I'm kind of curious how this does for a wing. Hmm. Not the best. I kind of like it for doing a wing because it's a little bit more straight than if I was just doing it on my own with a brush tip or a pencil, but still not awesome. All right, so even though this is not the best eyeliner I've ever tried, and honestly probably not even an eyeliner that I will use again, I still had fun trying this out. I love trying out new techniques of makeup and makeup products, so I still had fun filming this video. I hope you enjoyed watching today. And thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.